has anyone done this before? Volunteers, your job is to move at a steady, constant velocity. level that I see with these kids is phenomenal. I mean really they're asking me at the end of class are we going to be back here tomorrow? When are we going to do another lesson in this small lab? Small lab stands for Situated Multimedia Arts Learning Lab. As educators we often get stuck in our four walls and our, our box. We need to get out of that box and small lab allows us to be creative at the same time engage our students in very highly critical thinking skills. Small lab is an embodied learning environment and what we mean by that is students are learning by physically moving within the space. The feedback that I get from students is they think small lab's a really cool experience. It's like nothing they've ever seen before. As they're running through the scenario you can see them start to pick up the little nuances of the situation and that's one of the ways that I can tell they're learning. One of the things we're most proud of are the learning gains that we consistently see when students go into small lab. We give them pre and post tests and the gains are always statistically significant. One of the biggest things I've learned from small lab is how frequency relates to color because I was really struggling with that when my teacher first introduced it. But as soon as we got in here and started working with it, it was so much easier and it just clicked. I'm like, that's, that really makes sense. I love small lab because I, it helps me learn. While a child is in small lab, she is experiencing auditory feedback, visual sensations, kinesthetic sensations that are all highly correlated. And that's what we call multimodal learning. We use a marker-based motion capture system. What that allows us to do is have very precise tracking of objects that are in the space. And you can even design your own kinds of objects just by putting these markers on an object. This is definitely a collaborative environment. What it means for students is that they get to work together as a group in small lab at law school. It's very dynamic and you can kind of just sense that because of the conversations that are going on. They're discussing their results and coming up with new ideas all at the same time. It's really an important priority for small lab to be easily adopted by teachers. Technology doesn't replace teaching practices as they exist, but it really, it augments them, it extends them. Running a small lab experience is really a joy. It's something that I look forward to. Once I get in here, it really flows very easily. I believe small lab very well could be the future of education.